This is Susan Linden. Because it's been repaired a few times, there's an old epoxy, an old adhesive here that's chipping. It's actually fractured all the way down through here. That's actually good. That's a lot cleaner than I was expecting. No inscription on the back. And I would expect that. Yeah. But luckily we don't have that much to work with. The strength of any monument, headstone, person, piece of art comes from its core, its base, its foundation. This is the headstone of an early white settler to Western New York, Susan Lyndon Beardsley. She was born in 1808, not long after the Phelps Gorham purchase of 2.6 million acres of land from the Iroquois Nation for about a half cent per acre. This would have been done a long Prior. time ago, well before epoxies were even around. And then they came back and did a, a repair again. So this is frankly going to be the third time at a minimum mm -hmm. that somebody's touched this. The problem with this Portland cement is it kind of glues right to the stone and there's not much you can do to... The issue with her headstone is the base. It failed. The face sheared off. It happened long ago and somebody tried to use some Portland-based cement and puddle it around the monument to try and repair it. They were somewhat successful, but it didn't last and the headstone went over again. This appears to be at least the second to third time that this has been repaired. I can count Portland cement, an old epoxy that failed, and maybe others that aren't visible to me at this moment. When I first saw this project, I thought it was gonna be pretty easy, straightforward. But once we got into the details and saw just how bad this base was, it was gonna take some work. We spent a tremendous amount of time very carefully chiseling away the old Portland cement. It's gonna leave a surface stain. It's gonna show that there was an old repair that was there, but it's better to have it gone. We've got to spend some time cleaning out the cracks that are still here and then rebonding those. Getting every last bit of dust, every bit of dirt out of this crack. This is cement here. Yes. I don't necessarily want to chip that away. Okay. But there is growth there. Okay. So clean up that as much as you can because okay. we don't want that going down into the mortar, the biological growth here. Mm -hmm. So clean along here just with okay. a regular brush. I'm out on this project with my friend Katie. She has a really terrific Instagram page, a grave attraction where she cleans gravestones tells stories and talks about cemeteries. Susan Lyndon Beardsley was born 1831 at the age of 23. She married Anson Beardsley and the family moved and lived in Parenton, New York, not far from Fairport. Being only a few miles from the newly opened Erie Canal, they had really easy access to sell their goods. Susan herself lived to the old age of 88, outliving her husband who passed away at 45 and outliving all six of their children. That said, you can tell the family was tight. The adult sons were living with her, working on the farm. There was grandsons working on the farm as well, living with grandma. 
She hired additional men to work on the farm as hired hands. Certainly a tough lady. Maybe the core of the family. She's buried in a large family plot with a very large family obelisk matching the individual grave markers. You can see it behind us here. So it's only fitting that we repair the base for this woman who was certainly the core of her family. using a historic lime mortar to join this lovely white marble headstone. It has a mortise and tenon joint, but as you can see, the surface of the stone is covered with a, a black mold. It's a biological growth that's just really aggressive in this part of New York. We've used a biocide on it, and with time, maybe next spring, it should be a pretty nice white color, but for now, it's going to be gray, and it just simply takes time to gently let nature take its course to clean it back up. Mm -hmm. 